Ridley, America's automatic motorcycle. What we're going to go over today is how to rebuild uh, and do the lubrication and maintenance service uh, on a Ridley CVT Type 2 transmission. This transmission is on most Autoglide models uh, from 2004 on, uh, and uh, the service takes about 30 minutes. It's not long, but it does take a little bit of time. It does require some tools, uh, though, to, to get the service done. Um, so some of those tools are a hammer, is very important, a, uh, a standard, uh, this is a half-inch standard screwdriver. Uh, you're going to need a, a way to get a C-clip off. Uh, so we've got a pair of C-clip pliers here. Uh, we've got a 3 8 inch open-end wrench here. Um, and we've also got a pair of uh, channel locks. Uh, that'll come in handy in a minute. We'll need our trusty Ridley spray lube. Uh, this is a dry film spray lubricant, which is very important in the transmission, and we'll go over that here in just a minute. Uh, we've got a replacement lock washer, which we'll go over what the purpose of this lock washer is here in a second also, but you're going to need one of those. Um, most of the time you're going to need a replacement ramp plate, and we'll talk about the purpose of these here in just a second, but the ramp plates uh, usually need to be replaced every 6,000 miles. Um, so we'll go over the purpose of that. Um, you're going to want to make sure that you have all your bolts uh, and your washers and C-clips and everything, but most of those items are still on the transmission, so you don't need to replace some of that. Um. Okay, to go over what the main component in the CVT transmission is, we look at the drive clutch. The drive clutch is directly connected to the engine output shaft uh, through this hole here, and so when we slide this off, this is what we get. We get a chance to look at this. Um, drive clutch. That's what this is. So what's happening is this is directly connected to the motor's speed, and so this is always spinning. When your engine is on, this is spinning the same speed as the motor. And as you rev up the engine, you're gonna you could watch if there wasn't a cover on, but um, you'd watch this uh, movable plate right here begin to move in and grab the belt. Of course, uh, it's difficult to simulate here because we've got. Uh, the inner workings of the drive clutch pushing against us, but with centrifugal force it causes this plate to move in and grab this belt. Now this is what it looks like at full speed. And so the belt is now riding on the outside, the outer portion of these sheaves, um, causing it to ride in, in uh, high gear. And so when you go back down into neutral, it begins to go back uh, down into its resting place, which is right here. So that's what's happening here. Um, what we have is this is the base plate for the trans for the drive clutch. So this drive clutch is, isn't replaceable. If you need to replace the drive plate, um, the base plate, it's time to replace the entire transmission. We generally don't just sell this item. Uh, they come as a complete unit. Uh, so you've got the base plate. Some things to look for on an inspection is uh, ramps and ridges inside of here uh, that are caused by the belt wearing uh, from certain positions being held on a highway, like if you're a consistent 60 mile an hour rider, you would see a certain line here uh, where that's probably where you're most comfortable riding. If you're only riding 40 miles an hour, typically you'll see a wear pattern on here. So when we're going through here and we're actually uh, repairing these, one of the things you want to do is grab some Scotch-Brite, um, which is kind of a sandpaperish uh, material, and Scotch-Brite these uh, surfaces uh, down to where you get rid of those ridges. Um, and that's on both. You've got this base plate that needs to be uh, scotch brighted, and then you've got this uh, movable face plate that would also need to be scotch brighted. But it's important to know that the belt is riding on the outside here and on the inside here, and these surfaces aren't supposed to be slick. They're supposed to be rough. So one of the most common misconceptions is putting lubricant on these, what they call sheaves, these inside pieces. Um, you don't want to put lubricant in here. You don't want the belt to to, to have uh, any kind of a, a, a smooth place in here to ride because it'll just uh, cause it to slip. That's a slipping thing that most people talk about. You want these surfaces to be rough. So on the rest of this transmission, we'll talk about some of these items that are on here. Um, you've got a, a movable face, which is this uh, plate right here. The inside of that plate, if you could do a quick breakaway, is this right here. This is the movable face. On the movable face, we have these uh, cams. You've got a cam roller here. You've got a cam arm here, cam, arm here, cam springs here. Um, these, generally, you would, would never really replace one of those. You just replace the whole movable face. Um, moving up, 
you've got the spider, which is this piece right here with these three holes in it. The spider has these three arms. Uh, it has these guide arms on here, which keep this movable face moving with the rest of, of the uh, movement here with this base plate. So that's the point of that. It's, it acts as a guide. And so you've got these uh, rollers rolling up on these ramps. This would be, as I showed you earlier, this would be high gear for the transmission. So I've got it moved out right now. It's with the with the uh, ramp plate off. Uh, it's somewhat easier to see what's going on here. But if I put my my thumbs right here on this hole and keep my fingers underneath uh, the movable face, and if I pull up with my fingers here, I can watch this thing move. It's kind of a, a violent reaction, uh, but you'll see what happens here. So those rollers roll up on those little ramps there. So that's the movable movable face and the spider there. The movable face comes in a, in a piece like this. Uh, this is what it looks like. Um, so we won't talk about replacing that, but this is a brand new one. Then on the outside of the transmission, uh, we've got some pieces here. Some of them are replaceable and some are not. This is the, the ramp plate. That's what this is. This is a brand new ramp plate. Um, this is a ramp plate that has been repaired, which they can be occasionally. And what happens is the um, the cam rollers begin to develop a little wear pattern inside here and cause some divots in here, which can create a, a jerking sensation when you take off. And so you can grind those down if you've got the right uh, tools to make that happen. You can grind down that wear pattern in there and reuse these. We don't suggest it um, to, to, to do it more than once, uh, but generally about... 3,000 miles you can grind all that down and get these back to where they can be used another 3,000 miles. Otherwise uh, they need to be replaced with a brand new one. So then on the outside here holding this ramp plate in we've got a C-clip um, which is just a, a common part. The C-clip holds the, the ramp plate on um, and then on the outside of that we've got a lock ring lock washer. Um, a brand new one of those looks like this. Uh, the purpose of this is to hold on the ramp plate, and it also locks these ramp plate bolts into position by, tab by folding these tabs over and keeping these uh, bolts from moving. One thing that we definitely don't want is the ramp plate to come off while you're going down the road. The lock washer is something that does need to be replaced. Uh, whenever you do a service on the transmission, you do definitely need to replace this lock washer. Okay, now for the disassembly process. What we want to do is we want to go over here and, and unfold uh, the, the tab washer uh, so that we can remove these bolts. So it takes, takes your standard screwdriver, you got to put it down in here, use your hammer to kind of fold these things back down uh, to where they keep, they don't keep these bolts from moving anymore. We want to get these off. So once we get that down, now we can remove these bolts with our 3 8 uh, open end. Uh, they loosen up pretty quick. These are special bolts. They've got a locking mechanism on the threads. Uh, they've got kind of a taper on them. So this isn't the kind of thing that you're going to find at your local hardware store. This is uh, certainly something you need to get from your Ridley service. Uh, Ridley, America's automatic motorcycle.